Hi everyone, today we are going to study about the documentation of information systems. So, in this video we will study what documentation of information systems is, why is documentation so important and what is the process of documentation. So, starting with what documentation is, basically you can say that documentation may be defined as the process of communicating about the system. Whatever uh, information is about the system starting from the initial phase, starting from the very initial phase to the final phase, all that information that needs to be communicated about the system or all that system that may be, all that information that may be required at any given point of time either by the users of the organization or the management of the organization or the team of programmers or system analysts even in future, all that information is basically communicated with the help of documentation. The person who is responsible for this documentation is called documenter. So, basically the person who writes down all the information about the system or in a formal way if we can say that a person who documents all this is called the documenter. Documenter is not responsible for the accuracy of the information and his job is to communicate or transfer the information. So, basically uh, the documenter is not concerned about how accurate the information that is being provided to him is, uh, is how accurate that information is that is not the concern of a documenter. Documenter's only job is to document whatever is being told to him. So, whatever is being communicated to him about the system at all the stages of the system development, he just writes that down in writes down that information that is his only job and accuracy of the information is not his concern. Documentation is a supporting activity to record information produced by a system development life cycle process. So, whatever information is produced during the entire stages of system development life cycle process, all that information needs to be recorded somewhere for future reference. So, documentation is the process of basically recording or storing that information about the various stages of system life, uh, system development life cycle in a proper format. So, this is what documentation does, it basically helps for future references about the information system. Now, let us see why documentation is needed. Documentation is needed because it is a means for transfer of knowledge and details about description of the system. So, basically it is a way to communicate whatever knowledge and details or description of the system a person knows, he makes the documenter write that on a piece of paper in a proper format so that in future whosoever wants to know about the system can refer to the documentation of the system. Starting from the very first phase that is a problem identification, initial investigation, or the, all the information that the system analyst gathers from the users, their requirements till the final implementation phase, whatever information is being acquired about the system is documented. So, that is why it is very important. So, uh, the other need for documentation is to communicate among different teams of the software project. See, there are so many different teams of the software project, they uh, will be a team of system analysts, they will be um, a team of programmers. So, uh, how do all of them communicate? How does the analyst tell the programmer about the requirements? It is through the documentation process, the uh, different teams communicate with each other about the uh, proper details of the system that has to be dwell, developed. It also helps to cooperate audits and other requirements of the organization. Now, organizations need to be audited time to time to see if they are properly working. So, documentation also helps in uh, performing audits in the organizations and for performing audits, paperwork is very important and in that paperwork, documentation plays a very important role. Documentation is required to meet regulatory demands, whatever regulatory demands are there of the organization, rules and regulations as per the government policies, all those th uh, things need to be written down in a proper document form for future references. So, it also meets the regulatory demands. 
then it is needed for IT infrastructure management and maintenance. Whatever I, I, IT infrastructure is, how it will be managed, how it will be maintained, that also needs to be documented properly. It is also needed for a new software platform. If you are introducing a new software platform in the organization, then all the details and descriptions of that software also need to be documented somewhere. So, documentation is important here also. Documentation is carried out at every stage as part of development process. The, the documentation is not specific to any particular stage of system development life cycle, but it is carried out at each and every stage of system development life cycle. So, it is a uh, part of every stage of the development process of the information system. If there is any flaw in the system design, it can be identified and changed in the document thereby saving cost and time during implementation. So, if there is proper documentation of the system and during the system design if there is a flaw, so obviously that will also be documented. So, it can be checked there and then. So, for that reason it saves cost and time because if you get to know about those flaws after implementation then it will be complex to change them plus it will take a lot of time and cost in ch changing those, making those changes or improving those, correcting those flaws. But if these flaws are found in the document of the system design stage itself, then it will be easy to make the changes in the document. Process of documentation, let us see how documentation is done. The first stage of uh, documentation is collection of source material. When you want to write down about something, you need to have some source material to know about that thing, right? So, first uh, collection of source material is very important. It is the first step of the process of documentation. So, the first step is to acquire the required source material for preparation of document. At whatever stage you are documenting, for every stage you would require different store, um, source materials for the preparation of the document. Say for example, at the very first stage where you are finding out the requirements of the users, who would be the source material? The users themselves who would be giving you their requirements. So, when you are documenting their user requirements, the users would be the source material for the preparation of the document which would be the requirement specification document and so on. So, at various stages you have various source materials for uh, to acquire knowledge about that particular uh, at that uh, to acquire knowledge at that particular stage and then document it. So, the first and very important step is collection of source material. The material is collected how? Using various specifications, formats, screen layouts and report layouts. Then the second stage in documentation process is the documentation plan. Once you have acquired the source material, then the next step is the document is that the documenter is responsible for preparation of a documentation plan. So, the next step is to prepare a documentation plan which is prepared by the documenter and this documentation plan specifies the details of the work which will be carried out to prepare the document. The third step is the review of the plan. Once the documentation plan is ready, then it is reviewed to see if the material acquired is correct and complete. The fourth step is creation of document. Once all these three steps have been done successfully in the creation of document stage, the document is actually created or prepared with the help of document generator. Now, once the document has been generated or created, the document will be tested. So, the fifth step is the testing of document wherein the document created is tested for usability as required by the target audience. And the fifth and the uh, sixth step is to maintain a document. After a document has been tested, the next step is to maintain that document so that it can, it is always valid and can be always used for future references. So, once the document is created and distributed, it must be kept up to date with the new version of the software product. You know with time, uh, new changes in the software uh, take place. So, whatever new changes or new version of the software are being updated, it must be documented well enough. So, that means the document which was prepared must be updated on timely basis 
with the with whatever new version of the software product is introduced in the information system.